Hi guys, what's up? I'm Chloe Grace Moretz and this is the playlist of my life. Very exciting. It's Scrubs by TLC. This is a big one because I was about 10 years old and I had my first relationship and I got cheated on. <laughs> And my brother was like, I have a song to teach you of why it doesn't matter because those people are scrubs. Scrub is a guy that thinks he's fine. This also known as a buster. I love the lyrics. I think the lyrics are really smart. If I'm ever in that mood and something's happened, then I'll just like flip it on. It's a good banger. <laughs> Lucky by Britney Spears. Really big deal for me in my life. I think I really found my womanhood <laughs> through Britney's music. Anywhere from I'm not a girl, not yet a woman, to outrageous, to lucky. She's a lucky. She's a star. It talks about how she's one thing in front of her fans and she's one thing behind closed doors, and it's very dramatic. It's just like, I get it. Knock, knock, knock on the door. You gotta get ready, do your hair and makeup, and then face the crowd. Again, I was very young and it was very important to me when I was younger. And it still is important when I want to be ridiculously emotional about nothing. <laughs> Jolene by Dolly Parton. Dolly was always a big influence in my life when I was younger. She was all about being inclusive and being different in a disco Barbie. And there's such a, I don't know, a reckless attitude she had about it, but still incorporating everything she grew up on, which is the sounds and the feeling of the South and how warm that is. Jolene is such a great song because she isn't talking about just, you know, her, her husband cheating on her. She's talking about, why would you want to come in my life and take my man when you can have any man you want? Please don't take him just because you can. How could they not leave you for this person? I thought that was just an interesting, kind of psychoanalysis of relationships. <laughs> September by Earth, Wind & Fire. My mom really loved this song. She always played this song in the car and we'd sing along to it and it was probably my first intro into that kind of rolling beat that comes along with it and that immediate ability to like snap your fingers and tap your foot. You kind of want to get out and dance a little bit. Do you remember? Emotional, but it's still bouncy and fun and kind of uh, keeps you going. It's a good one. <music> Miss Grace by the Thames, which a lot of people might not know, but my middle name is Grace, and my mom used to sing this to me when I was a little baby. It was kind of like my theme song when I was younger. It's really sweet, you know, it says, like, the minute I saw your face, I knew that I loved you. The minute I saw your face. I listen to it sometimes when I'm away from my mom or in a different country and I want to remind myself of what it felt like. I like the 70s. <laughs> Rich Girl by Hollow Notes. I think growing up, predominantly most of the time I grew up in LA and I was surrounded by a lot of people that thought they were really cool by the price tag of the things they owned when it was actually like, nah, you're actually really not a nice person. <laughs> I guess the cadence of the, the lyrics and like the the tone of how it hits along with the beat and the way the beat drives with it. It's just so immediately catchy. It's fun. It was one of the first ones where I was like, oh cool, you can make a song that's actually kind of like F you without being super angsty. It's just like, you don't even matter and I'm gonna tell you it to your face. I'm a person who really likes lyrics, I think even more than the sound of a song. But if you can do that and put it in there with like a fun beat, then I'm really down. Take Me Home Country Road was one of those songs that I put it on and it immediately reminds me of being in Georgia and the smell of the sweet earth and the hot summer days. Kind of early country sound is what I really love, which is more country folk. And his picking is really nice on it and it's really acoustic and really sweet. But it's so much based in story and it's so much based in that feeling. I think, you know, kind of like how I have Dolly on here. I really love the references of the South and I really love those feelings and they kind of encompass you like a warm hug. Country roads, take me home. There's this one road where my grandma lived and it's this long winding road and it goes through all the beautiful trees in Georgia, which are these massive trees and these big forests. And it's these little two lane roads that go off to one house down this tiny lane. And I remember being a little kid and running to the honeysuckle and just sucking out all the the sweet inside and like going and picking um, blackberries and making blackberry pie and stuff like that. And I think it can be really romanticized and I really romanticize it, yeah. Land 
one slide, Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks in particular, this song just like completely took me over. And I love the fact that her voice on it isn't even on tune half the time. It's kind of out of tune and it's creaky and it's cracky and it has this kind of real life sense to it. Like you could cry and laugh at the same time, but ultimately you just want to lay there. Well, I've been afraid of changing. I just really love Fleetwood Mac. I think they're incredible and they're so symphonic almost with their sounds and they kind of reverberate in each ear and they kind of come back to you at different times in your life and you understand the lyrics more and the more you grow and the more emotions that kind of smack you in the face as you grow up. And I really, really enjoy them. I think they're Probably one of the best fans ever. I don't know, I think that it says I'm kind of nostalgic. I think in some way I'm a bit nostalgic. I connect to more music from the past, not including Britney Spears. I think she stands alone herself and that she's incredible. Love you, Britney. Um, but other than that, I love my roots um, and I love a little bit of disco vibe. Um, and I love Britney Spears. I'm Chloe Grace Moretz from the upcoming film, The Addams Family. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed the playlist of my life. Thank you.